Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I wanted to talk a bit more about persistent and personal hangers. Some of the stuff we're getting with Star Citizen Alpha 3.23. There was a inside Star Citizen to and fro with cargo. Looking at some of these new mechanics coming in 3.23. And they are so important. They are such big changes to the game for cargo. And even if you're doing a combat role, they're going to affect the economy and how players react and act and your sort of potential targets and escorts and loads of other stuff that knock on effects here. So uh, I want to start by talking about persistent and personal hangers. So persistent hangers, something that we're going to have in game now, also known effectively as personal hangers here. Basically, you get an instanced hanger at your home location that you choose to spawn at uh, initially in 3.23. So this basically allows you to then customize it to a reasonable degree. So this hanger is treated fully persistent and you can leave gear and cargo and anything else that you want. Customizations just around and come back to them later. Bam, that is your hanger. That is what it looks like. You can invite your friends to when landing at a point of interest. The sort of system will check to see if you have a personal hanger there. And if you do, that's the one that's going to be loaded up. If you go somewhere else, I believe it's just a standard hanger like we have at the moment, effectively, for the most part, although there are going to be some additions there, like the freight elevators, potentially the ability to call up ships in the hangar as well, but we'll come to that in a minute. Um, so you're going to enter the hangar just like you previously had, but it will be loading up your persistent hangar at your, your home zone. Uh, anything in your inventory, cargo elevator and that sort of stuff can be pulled up into your hangar from flare to weapons to cargo. I do believe that you'll have the cargo elevators, the freight elevators, at all hangers though. Uh, it sounds like you might be able to get yourself multiple personal hangers in the future as well, not just your home location. Just having a persistent hanger like that is pretty awesome because you can customize it, you can do some cool stuff with that for sure, put all your flair and those sort of items around it and go, look, this is my, this is my little base. I'm not 100% sure exactly what features you won't get when you're out of your persistent hanger. Maybe it's literally persistence you don't get but you get all the other features. And so what are these other features? Well, there are these sort of new kiosks in your hangar now. Uh, the freight elevator, that's, that has a kiosk. You can interact with that kiosk to load up any cargo from your uh, inventory items located at landing zones, but also cargo, all that sort of jazz, commodities that you want. Bam, the elevator will open nearby with all the selected goods that you have chosen. This brings a huge amount of depth to cargo gameplay absolutely massive. It's going to allow you to do so much just with that. You'll now need to load and unload all your cargo from or to your ship to the landing zone when you're buying or selling. So bam, I brought a load of goods to, to sell at a location. I have to unload them into the cargo elevator. Bam, I bought a load of goods to sell somewhere else. I have to take them out of the cargo elevator, put them on my ship. Some items you load up in the elevator will need to be brought up in a cargo container box. So this is going to be like lots of individual items or weapons and things like that so they don't spill out onto the platform. Things that aren't typically freestanding, I suspect. And you're going to have a big range of cargo boxes to do this in 3.23. You're going to have um, all the way up to 32 SCU of cargo box. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 of SCU container. These are these are pretty big boxes at, at 32 SCU. I also saw in the sort of inside stars list some, some of the mining bags and that sort of stuff as well. So yeah, you can store just your big cargo boxes in your hangar, in the cargo elevator, that sort of stuff. Item banks are also going to be available in hangars. These enable you to call up and deposit sort of individual FPS items and gear, things that you might want to grab in a quick manner. They also appear all around landing zones, not just in your hangar, so um, they're going to be at various key points like in your hab and that sort of stuff as well. These all are personal and secure, so players can't basically steal anything out of them. It's, it's your stuff in there, don't worry about it. Um, at least that's what I hope it's going to be. I'm, I'm, I wonder if there's going to be any glitches or weird things that people can do there. The big change here being that you are no longer going to be able to access the sort of like landing zone inventory from your inventory anywhere. So you can open up your inventory and you've got whatever is on your character on your character. Yeah, but you can't and then immediately just easily move it into the local inventory of a landing zone. You have to use one of these uh, sort of um, points where you can then put your smaller items and deposit them in or use a cargo elevator. A lot of people are going to find this a lot more fiddly. A lot of people are going to really, really like this with all the other supporting sort of systems that go on top of it. 
Another big change to hangars is that there are now ASOP terminals within hangars at the public sections of spaceports as well, but um, in your hangars too. Now, I say in your hangars too, I assume this is in, hmm, this might be in all hangars or it might just be in your personal persistent hangar. So ships can now be called up while you're in your hangar and they come up from underneath the floor. There's basically a floor elevator there. So seemingly if you want to put something back in there, you need to make sure it's in the right area. Um, and it's all sort of like part of the additional expansion to the physicalization of the universe. Bam, it's on that platform and you can put them back into storage as well. There are obvious warning signs when you're spawning them. You, you will sort of also be able to spawn ground vehicles here, drive them off the sort of elevator platform and well this, this sort of ground elevator platform and then spawn something else you can spawn multiple ships this this method or, or vehicles or whatever and then literally drive them back onto your ship now we do know that cloud and pyramid basically said oh well, you're going to be able to bring up vehicles in the freight elevator that needs more work recently that was a planned feature for 3.23 this is basically a workaround to that in the short term but it's totally fine to have it just like that. I, I think Cloud Imperium will go, what's the best way of doing this? Should we just keep it like it is, where you can spawn them with the ship spawn elevator, effectively, or shall we use the cargo elevator for it? Cloud Imperium said they'd already worked out ways of preventing players um, getting sort of griefed and glitched by themselves, falling into the sort of pit and um, swallowing their body and stuff like that. You will be able to jump into uh, the hangar bay um, as it's opening or as it's closing if you really try. There are still dangers, um, so sort of bear that in mind, but they're working on mitigating some of the weird edge cases and problems that you might have. Now, one of the reasons I said earlier that um, these sort of spawn terminals for ships might only be in your personal hangar is because they said you get a personal persistent hangar that is appropriate to the largest ship that you own. That's that's what CIG said, uh, and that was, that's the one that sort of starts with you. We don't know what happens if you buy a bigger ship in-game with in-game credits. Maybe you just get a, a, a non-persistent uh, sort of hangar, but uh, you get the ability to spawn it elsewhere because you can obviously be able to spawn it in other locations. Will there be purchasable hangars at the same time that we can buy other locations, or even at the same location? Also, we had seen the surface outposts have these sort of freight elevators previously as well in a sneak peek. Clan Imperium didn't show any of that this time, but I do believe that surface outposts in 3.23 will still have sort of freight elevators, so bear that in mind. Uh, something else that was talked about, hangar sizes, they have increased for, for the most part. So they've updated a load of these sort of old assets and sizes of the old hangars. Uh, large and extra large hangars, they have significant size increases, sort of 20 to 30% um, increase in size there, allowing for more ships to sort of enter and leave more easily. Medium hangars can have more height to them, and a lot of the previously small vehicles are now classified as medium for hangars. Uh, and the small hangar, that actually remained mostly the same, but as I said, they recertified loads of smaller vehicles to medium so they'd fit more appropriately in a hangar. Now, for me, all of this coming together is just this huge cargo career boom. They've added time to the economy of hauling as well. So they, and I think that's that's an awesome thing. There is also automated loading and unloading. So it's an option in the commodity terminal. You basically go, what ship? Bam, it's this ship that I'm using, and uh, I want to unload this cargo, and basically this is uh, extra cost, and that will take that stuff out of your ship without you having to move it yourself to and fro from the freight elevators. Now, the ship is going to be in storage for a certain amount of time, and it looks roughly like that amount of time on the Inside Star Citizen video was like one minute per 60 SCU, a sort of like a rough guide, but that could change hugely by the time it's actually in our hands. And different facilities and different landing zones, they're going to have different sort of times and costs associated with them anyway. But yeah, your ship is effectively locked while you are um, transferring cargo to or from it. Yeah, I just really like this. This is huge. This is a huge economy update. Even if you're a pirate, this is going to affect how other players act in the verse. And because of the added sort of changes to the times and costs associated with cargo, it might become a lot more profitable to do. It's going to enhance and expand out that gameplay. And Clown Imperium said it was going to evolve into its 3.23 release and beyond it as well. So there's a lot more work that is going on here. I saw some other stuff as well. There's like an auto arrange button for when you're doing uh, cargo uh, with the freight elevator and how it actually comes out of it. Um, yeah, it looked like an auto arrange button was going on there. Um, I'd like to see some mannequins with loadout containers as well. So I want to be able to go, bam, I've got a loadout in a locker or a loadout on a mannequin that I can just sort of grab 
very quickly and it's got sort of like a, a whole single loadout on it. Something I was a bit disappointed not seeing was cargo hauling missions here. Now we do know that they are planning to have cargo hauling missions that take advantage of all this new gameplay in 3.23. Hopefully they'll make it in, and hopefully we will see a Inside Star Citizen and more details of that in the very near future. I think this is one of the biggest, most fundamental changes we've had to Star Citizen's economy and cargo ever, and I'm so excited to see it in 3.23. I'm really interested to know what you think. Were you expecting more with the sort of persistent and hangers and the personal hangers here? Uh, are you looking forward to a load of different flare items, lots of customization options here? Because they didn't really go into the nitty gritty of, well, are they actually producing a load more customization options? And uh, can we just start taking anything that we see anywhere and put it in our, our, our persistent habs and hangers and that sort of stuff? Because with persistent entity streaming, we should be able to, right? Is there going to be a shop where I can buy sofas and furniture and uh, other silly things that potentially give me a bit more uh, function in my hangar as well? Do you think that sort of stuff is coming in 3.23? What else do you hope to see with these sort of mechanics? Whatever your thoughts or questions, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. And also, don't forget that Toby Eye Tracker is on sale at the moment as well. There's links down below if you want to get another 15% off one of those. They are quite expensive, but they are very cool pieces of kit for very good precision iron head tracking natively supported in Star Citizen. Anyway, go comments below. L have a look. Have a read. Chat. Ask me questions. Let me set you a riddle. You have a fox, a chicken, and a sack of corn, and you have to transport them from one side of the river to the other using a rowing boat. You can only carry one of these with you back and or forth. You can't leave the chicken and the fox together. That's mad. Nor can the chicken be left with the grain, nor all three together without you. How do you do it? With NordVPN.com slash BoardGamer. Turn that bad boy on and just set your location to the other side of the river. Done. Not only do you have all your wares, but also you can get around regional content blocks, have your data encrypted for more security. It's easy to toggle on and off. It's non-invasive. It helps you with other riddles as well. If a sphinx is asking you, what goes on four legs in the morning, two at noon, and three legs in the evening? NordVPN, get it now from the links below. Every month we have a giveaway for a ship, and for March we are giving away an Argo raft with persistent hangars, freight elevators, and hauling missions coming with Alpha 3.23. What better way to experience that type of gameplay than with your own hauler? All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that is comment on any of our videos made during the month. A single comment per video counts, so get involved with watching all my videos for more chances to win. There's more details in the description. Also, I won't ask you to contact me on Telegram or anything like that. This is my only YouTube account I will use to talk in my comments as well. Occasionally there are scammers about, I don't want people to get tricked. A massive thank you to everyone that supports the channel, be that liking videos, commenting on them, sharing them. There are also people that go the extra mile. These are amazing people that become Patreons or use the join button under my YouTube videos to become channel members. You'll occasionally get some exclusive content, Discord roles and behind the scenes posts. It's those people with those memberships that allow us to make the daily Star Citizen content that we do. So please consider joining those awesome folks as well. Thank you for watching until the very end. It is genuinely appreciated and I hope you have a great March.